Sorry it took so long. So you guys know Sonic, right? Good. Because our top 10th entry is going to be one of their characters. And sadly enough, the only character from Sonic on the list. I'll definitely have to put default on me for the reason that there is hardly any variation on the list at all. And I shouldn't have any reason not to play this franchise. I love it. But anyways, I think it's time that we just immediately move on to the number 10. And it shall be the Flying Fox Tales. So Tails have been a favorite of mine for longer than I can remember, so it was certain that he'd be on here. My reasoning, you ask? I don't know. A flying fox with two tails, super intelligent. I find it kinda cool. I mean, name me another person who thought of this idea before. Nobody. That's who. So yeah, I found this an original idea, which is why he's on the list. And if anything, I think that's a good enough reason for me. Back to talking about Super Mario Galaxy again, because gosh, this game is great. It was a great idea, Nintendo. Have a star. Now let's stop wasting time since I'm pretty sure everyone knows who I mean by now. Oh my god, Rosalina on a top 20 list of favorite characters. Who would have suspected it? Now that you know this, you can sleep well tonight. Hooray! So yeah, everyone knows why Rosalina is a great character. Because of her nice and sad, sad backstory, the fact that she's literally the goddess of space, and that she's a great fighter in Super Smash Bros. I can say she's pretty cool. I guess the reason Rosalina wouldn't be higher on the list is because of uh, her fan base. You might know what I mean by that. But in case you don't, there's this website called DeviantArt that you should not go search up your favorite characters on or else your childhood will be ruined forever. <coughs> uh, but, but besides that, everything else is fine with the character. Sorry, I have uh, something in my throat, I, I guess. Returning on to the subject of Pokemon, we have yet another character from here. The character comes from Pokemon Sun and Moon, and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. However, I only have half the information since I still don't have Ultra Sun, which will most likely be awaited till Christmas until I get it. But it doesn't stop me from putting him on here. Everybody give a warm welcome to Gladian. Gladian. Who doesn't love Gladian? Aren't you, uh, Gladian I put him on the list? <laughs> get, get it? Oh, oh, I'm very sorry. I'll stop. Characters who seem like they'd be evil but actually aren't are um, also one of my favorite kind of characters. He, along with his entire family, was a great addition to Pokemon Sun and Moon because, my gosh, they made the plot interesting. But out of all of them, I had to put Gladian at number 8. He seemed worthy to have a mention in here. Although I certainly would have put all of them on here if I had the space for it. Yes. Shy guy. Shy Guy only recently became one of my favorites. I don't know why, but I feel like Shy Guy is one of my go-to characters in Mario Kart 8. I don't know why, he just feels like a lucky character. Plus, he seems to be an important character to the franchise. He's appeared in a bunch of spin-off games, and for those games that he is playable in, I will definitely play as him a lot. And I also quite admire the fact that uh, there's a bunch of different kinds of Shy Guys, like the Sombrero Guy. I can say that Shy Guy is one of Bowser's more memorable minions, since they seem to do a lot. Of course they're not as memorable as the Goombas or the Koopas, but they put a lot of effort and fame for a Shy Guy. Yes, we get to talk about my favorite game series again. 
in this series, there is a reoccurring character, an assistant character that comes from Bowser's Inside Story and that came into Dream Team and back again in Paper Jam. And if the character doesn't click for you yet, then let me give you a very big hint. She is round, short, and has a star on top of her head. If you still don't know, then look at the picture. She is beauty. She is grace. While you sleep, she will play with your face. Usually, guides are used to be very annoying characters who tell you what to do. Well, Starlo isn't annoying at all. And since she does come from my favorite game series, then it's obvious that she would be on here. Starlo was a great addition, and I'm really glad that it doesn't look like she'll be leaving anytime soon. I'm sure there's a lot more they can do with Starlo, and I can't wait to see what the next game will bring. And now we're taking a turn back to Pokemon with our fifth contestant, and also my favorite character from Pokemon, and as a relative of Gladian. I'm sure we could all agree that she is a fan favorite. And that is without surprise, Lily. I'm sure by the moment Lily was released, everyone lost their minds. Everyone loved her and wanted to know exactly who she was because she seemed very mysterious. And might I say I was one of those people. And might I also say that after discovering who she was, she became one of my favorites. And might I also also say that her second design is absolutely gorgeous. And I also find her a very unique character, especially in a Pokemon game. And I especially love the evolution she went through throughout the story. Just that really sets her apart from the other characters. And now I can't wait to see what kind of role she'll be playing in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. <sighs> I really want the game right now. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be doing homework because it's good for you and you want to pass so that you don't fail at life. Wait a moment, that's not how it goes. Predictable, aren't I? Sansa Skeleton is number four. Out of all these characters, this sensational pal of bones really rattles up the plot the most for me. He is the one skeleton character that you can't see through. He will tickle your funny bone at the right time and the right places. He's a real comic with his humorous jokes. Uh, uh hold on, I, I kind of ran out of skeleton jokes. Uh -huh, yeah. Ah, oh. oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's and you better run away, grab the telebone, and call the police, because if you don't, then he'll cut you to the bone. He also owns many jobs and works down to the bone. And once he's done with all his jobs, he just jumps out of his skin, goes on his bed, and just sleeps. Subscribe to Justified Justin today for some quality content and bad puns once a week. Or don't if you don't like it. Okay guys, I'm extremely sorry. I'll, I'll stop now. Returning to this Legend of the Game series, we shall talk about another character from here. But this time a villain, rather than a hero. As I must say, the villains in this series are spectacular. And just the general roster of characters, you can't go wrong with any of them. And just like I mentioned with that as a real dreamer, this character is one that starts off at the bottom and flies to the top at rocket speed. Literally rocket speed. He even has a rocket on him. If you feel shocked to see Favlon here, then don't be shocked because it was obviously beyond here with all the subtle hints throughout all the videos I made. Fawful is by far my favorite villain of all time. I don't think I've ever seen a villain with so much determination before. In Superstar Saga, he was seen nothing more than just a minion, and then he turned into a leader himself. I don't think anybody would have seen this coming, but it did. 
He's a villain who just doesn't want to be defeated. He laughs in the face of defeat. He has fury and he has turtles. And this is all you need to know. I could go on for a few minutes about how great Falkle is, but I believe my reasoning is good enough. I think it's about time we move on to number two. So yeah, we have another Mario character for this rank two. And number one will also be another. But what can I say? It's the series that I grew up playing, so it's obvious that there would be a lot of those characters in here. But hey, I reviewed all the games that I know, played, or at least know a little bit about. And I tried to figure out the ones that would make the most sense to put on the list here, so I, I really tried my best. But in the end, I really couldn't hold myself back from putting uh, so many Mario characters on here. And so in the end, it has to be accepted that I let myself get defeated, and the top three ended up all as Mario characters. And this next character has been one that I've actually loved for quite a while. And she's probably been my second favorite since almost ten years from here, I guess? That character would be Daisy. Yes, Princess Daisy, the sassy princess of Sarasaland, has made it second on the list. I don't know what it is about Daisy, but there's something about her that made me a big fan of her in my childhood age. It might be because she's generalized in uh, orange colors, and orange is my favorite color. But even I, myself, don't know really what the reason behind Daisy being so high on the list is. So I let myself get defeated for this one, and I gave Daisy second anyways. Besides, I think she really deserves it. So here we are. After a super long wait, we're finally at the number one. Which means once you're done watching this, you should probably go do something productive, because uh, that's very important. Unless, you know, you don't really want to, and you'd rather listen to my annoying voice for another 10-20 minutes, then that's fine as well. I guess you just came here to listen to my critic opinions. That's, um, it's a good waste of time if you ask me. But who am I to be stalling? I think it's about time we just make me shut up and actually start saying stuff. And so we finish it off with Yoshi, who's been my all-time favorite for many years. He's a very solid psychic and helper of Mario, and often brings a sigh of relief to whoever finds one in a game. With his nice variety of movesets and abilities that he possesses in most games, it makes him a fun character to run into in any Mario game. And he's also one of the most important Mario characters in history, being there for Mario since he was a little baby, to help him save his little brother from Bowser, to joining Mario in party games, or doing it alone as you can see in this picture, he's truly a spectacular and memorable character, and nobody can deny that. And since he's been my all-time favorite for so long, and kept a good relevance in the series, I guess that's why he's still my favorite. But that's enough about my opinions. I say you should probably comment down there which one your favorite character is and um, why because your reasons are probably better than mine anyways. I mean, come on, it took me a while to figure out the reasons, and some characters I, I actually didn't figure out the reason why. Making this list was uh, a lot harder than I thought, and trust me, it's harder than it seems. And because I'll be slightly more active in the next few weeks, I'll try to comment a type of video that you want me to make next, and I'll probably consider it, because, you know, I like to do stuff that other people want to do sometimes, rather than only videos I want to do. But yeah, that's about all for me. Um, I think you should probably do something better than watching my videos now, so, um, bye!